Hello friends! Welcome to another of my weekly roundups where I chat about what I've been playing recently and maybe even peek a little bit into my personal life. This week I got sucked into Animal Crossing again. I stared at my release week island and all the stuff on it froze up and deleted it so I could start from scratch. I've actually never played during the autumn season in-game before, so it's been refreshing to pick mushrooms and shake acorns out of trees. Me and the crew tried out Forewarned for the first time, and for the most part decided we were just going to jump in without playing the tutorial. This obviously had some flaws, Same. I think we gotta, like, pull the levers. but we ended up having a pretty good time together regardless. The end of our very first excursion is posted in this week's clip video, good enough to die in every game, and I think it's worth checking out for a few laughs. As the name implies, Good Enough to Die in Every Game features three games, Phasmophobia, Ghost Hunter's Corp, and Forewarned, and I'm bumping into a bit of a wall figuring out how to promote it to the genre audience versus the individual game audiences. If you have thoughts or encouragement, please leave a comment below. An old friend of mine came around one night to kill zombies with us in Back for Blood. The devs have recently patched the game, so all cleaners are available right from the beginning for everyone. And while the patch notes also say that axe damage was reduced, I sure didn't feel it. I also ordered myself a Holly t-shirt off Tee Public that should be here next week, so I can extra channel my inner zombie brain basher while playing. Speaking of old friends, I had another join us in Phasmophobia for last week's Spirits and Spirits. We took him right into professional maps at level 1, and I'm proud to say that he survived one entire map and one entire hunt. Thanks to Trip sacrificing himself to the ghost instead. Hey, I was protecting. Like, no, you were. Earlier. You were. And I, and I fucking took off. Fucking took off. Tonight's Spirits and Spirits picture of margaritas is in the fridge, and of course, you'll see some of those clips in Tuesday's video. As for offline life, I got some very good couch time in with my dogs and watched the old movie Detour one night, which I enjoyed. Oh, I also got a new headset. I'm using the HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless, which has helped immensely with the sibilance and echoing issues I've been fighting since beginning this content creation journey. Thanks for coming along with me, and remember, you don't want to miss my videos, so smash that like, smash that subscribe, and I will see y'all next time.